seems really odd in today's world that we have more than ever before, and yet we think in a very lack state. There's a world of abundance and an attitude of lack. The problem is that we are not eating food anymore. We are eating food like products, and they are adorned. They are made to look better and smell better so that people are attracted to them. The marketing essentially lies to you because it presents you with the promise you're going to be sexy and popular and cool, but in reality, you're going to be obese and miserable and sick. I think we're barking up the wrong tree. People are looking for a result that is superficial. They're looking just to look good. And they don't really consider that that could be done from the inside out. The first chapter of the first book that I ever wrote was called Diets Don't Work. It's because they're temporary. They have failure built right into them. You can lose weight on a diet, but it's a little bit like borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. I mean, you can get 10 pounds off your body through sheer force, but you're going to have to pay back with interest. People know this, so why are highly intelligent people not stopping? Because they don't know the nature of the trap. There was a point where I allowed myself to get to 300 pounds. And that world, as opposed to the current world, uh, is vastly different. Life was just not fun, you know? The only fun I had was watching people on TV having fun. I was over 400 pounds, and I had very bad sleep apnea. I was borderline type 2 diabetic. I was a cheeseburger away from a heart attack, and I said, no more. This is how we are as mammals. It's not your fault. You're programmed to put on fat whenever there is food available. I was 31 when I realized I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to take care of myself, and I am sick. And so I had to go back and learn all the things that I wish I had known as a child. Sugar is without question the cocaine of the food world, but they kind of get away with hiding that drug within quote unquote food. Sugar is in everything. In America, we're eating about 22 teaspoons of sugar a day. When we get onto our real diet in the sense of what a species habitually eats to sustain itself. We don't have to think about these things anymore. This is a really prevalent problem today because people are overfed, uh, but they're also starving to death. violating our body's basic survival laws. The whole dieting paradigm is flawed. It's not just what you're eating, it's also what's eating you.